Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the V Starry Galaxy projector from a company called Vimi. Now, Vimi actually has a whole range of different projectors apart from this one, uh, but those are regular projectors. This particular projector, well, as the name V Starry suggests, is actually a starlight and a galaxy projector. Now, of course, before we talk about the projector, let's go through the unboxing. Now, first of all, actually the box seem pretty generic to me actually uh, it's just a very solid blue uh, there wasn't even the vimi uh, brand name on it uh, which is kind of weird but at least you do get some of the information like the important modes and the features that the projector has but in the box you do get a little guide you do get a cable to power the projector uh, you get a remote as well which is great and of course the projector itself now the build quality of the v starry projector is well it's pretty plasticky not necessarily in a bad way uh, and even the remote actually looks like an old, like an air conditioning remote back from the 90s. Uh, but I mean, overall, I'm not going to penalize it too much. Uh, I mean, let's face it, this is more of a novelty product, more than an actual practical one. Um, although I'm sure you guys will probably think of some really cool uh, uses for this. Uh, one thing I do like about the design though is this uh, like four little legs. Now this is actually really good because this allows you to position the projector and have the lenses face in almost any position that you want. So it's really great. So you can basically put it anywhere in your room. Now one really great feature of the v Starry projector is that it also has a built-in speaker. And yes, this can also double as a Bluetooth speaker. However, do note, it doesn't have a built-in battery. So it's not necessarily portable. Although I guess since one end of that charging cable is USB, you could probably bring it outside and use it like with a power bank. However, that brings me to the one design feature of the projector that I would really consider a flaw. And I'm talking about how you power the projector. Now, on one end of that cable, like I mentioned, it's a USB type A. The other end is actually a barrel projector and that's how you plug it into the projector. So over here, you get a barrel port. Now the barrel port works fine, but I think it's a design flaw in the sense that let's say for example, if you lose that cable or if for some reason that cable uh, breaks or doesn't work, now you can't just pop down to the shops and get another cable because it's not a common kind of cable. I mean, USB type A on one end, yes, but the barrel side, the, the barrel port, there are hundreds of different variations of barrel port, so you don't really know which one, and I've never seen a barrel port to a USB anywhere. So you would probably have to go directly to Vimi to get another cable. And I mean, depending on the shipping cost and where you are, it might not actually be financially viable or make sense to purchase the cable. So Vimi, if you're watching this, I think having this end, uh, the projector side, having it like USB type C or even a micro USB port instead, that would really help a lot. So of course, let's talk about how this performs as a starlight or galaxy projector. Now it actually projects the stars and the galaxy uh, with two separate lenses. So the big lens over here, this is sort of like a fish eye lens. Uh, this projects that galaxy. Uh, and this little one over here is an actual laser. So it uses lasers to project the stars. Now for that galaxy projection, you do have different colors that you can sort of cycle through. Even some blended ones combining a few different colors. Some of them look really cool and some of them actually look quite menacing. Uh, but overall, I really like the effect and I do like the different combination modes. Now the stars, however, it does come in a single green color. It's a laser. Now. First, when I first tested it and I turned it on, I looked at it and the first thing that I thought was why on earth is it green? I mean, if you look out in the sky, usually stars look white. And I'm sure a lot of you might be wondering too. So I did a bit of Googling and I found out that actually lasers can't actually produce the color white on its own. Now, they did invent a white laser in a sense, but that's actually a combination of different lasers um, portraying the entire spectrum or producing the entire spectrum uh, of colors and combine it to show white. So I think that sort of technology might have been too expensive because it's a whole bunch of different lasers uh, to get white. So I think the best uh, option for them would just be a single color and green. And again, I'm not going to fault them for it. This is not like a really important device. It's more of a novelty or gift. Now, like I said, the Galaxy, you have different colors to choose from and you can't do that with the lasers. However, you do have the auto dim feature on the projector itself that you know you can sort of dim and have it like slowly pulse the stars in and out which is actually kind of cool and of course speaking about the different functions like i mentioned you do get a remote however you also get the controls all the same controls 
on the remote on the projector itself which is great so you know that you know if you accidentally lose the remote or if the remote stops working this is not useless you can still use the buttons on the projector so that's great now on the box of the v-story projector and on the website as well they also tend to showcase different modes like home theater accents and starlit dinner now these to me aren't actually modes because you're sort of using the projector in its original use the same way but in different scenarios so they're sort of the different scenarios instead of different modes one mode that it does have that i got really excited about um, is a built-in mic that it has and you can see a mic button on the projector and on the remote as well so in the guide what it says is that it actually automatically switches between the different color modes uh, in rhythm of the music that you're playing. So yeah, I got really excited. I thought, you know, um, the different modes, the different colors would change. It would pulse or sync with the music that you're playing, like syncing with the beat. However, no, it didn't actually do that. So what it did was when it detects music playing from the speaker, uh, it just flashes the different modes at the exact same rate. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about, here's an example. So yeah, like you can see, it doesn't matter what sort of music I'm playing, what speed it was at, what the BPM was, uh, it sort of flashed at the exact same rate. Um, which is kind of a shame, but it still looks pretty cool. I mean, if you use it in a party and you're sort of playing the same sort of like dance music, I think it would work really well. Um, one thing that I thought was a bit of a shame was um, I tried to play music from a different source, so like another speaker to see if it would work as well. And it would sort of change the colors, but not at the right rate. So I don't think it detected that um, that that music from that other speaker as well. Um, maybe if you played it really loud, maybe it would, but unfortunately, that's not something that I could test right here. So on the Vimi website, you can actually get the V-Story projector for around 56 US dollars. Uh, that's the usual price. However, if you use our promo code, if you use the promo code Technobabble, you get a 20% discount on this projector. And that's not all, all right? If you use that same promo code Technobabble, it actually works on all their products on their website. So that's really cool. Cause like I said, they have a whole range of different projectors as well. And actually, if you see a projector there that you like and you want me to test it out, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. So yeah, overall, I actually do quite like this v Starry Galaxy projector. I think it's a really cool novelty item to have. There are probably more uses for this than I could personally think of. Um, but yeah, in any sort of party, I think it would add a really nice ambience and it could add even a little something extra to your home. All right, so that about wraps up my review of the V-Star Galaxy Projector. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do and I would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our next video. I'm JP and I'll see you real soon.